anyways, that's fine. He, he said he was going to break my jaw. I said that he looked like a broken man already. And I said he looked, he looked like he could barely stand. But <coughs> things he said, you know what I mean? Things you have put in the past. You say things to people you love that you don't mean. And I don't even like him when I said it. So all respect to Alan. Um, we said to him, whatever, do you know what I mean? I got good respect for him. He's a great competitor, and he brought the best out of me. That's all that is. All them words, you know, it could have been nothing. It's just, it's just emotion coming out, you know what I mean? Because it's bringing the best out of me. You're no longer the, you know, the challenger, the prospect, the future. You are the present and the now. Where do you think your next opponent comes from? Who interests you in the, in the division? Who do you think will bring the best out of Ed Arthur next? I'm ranked 15th. There's 14 guys above me. I've done one of them. I've got 13 left. So whichever one of them 13 want it, I'm up for it. You know what I mean? If you're in the top 10, I'm on it. As you've already mentioned, you know the first round didn't go your way. What was said in between the rounds? What changed to make the second round come out the way it did? Cause it looked to me that straight away your striking in the second round was far more on point than what you were in the first round. Yeah, I remember my coach Dean telling me that um, I needed to get a bit more faint, sell it a little bit more. You know what I mean? I was just, I, I was fainting, but... No, I don't, even I didn't really believe the faint too much, let alone him, you know what I mean? So I had to get him to, I had to, get him to take a backward step a little bit more. So I was trying to get the faints going. I tried to be a bit more loose. Uh, my games, I like to get behind the jab. You know what I, mean? I like to get behind it, work behind it, but I was missing them jabs. So we were just trying to sharpen that up a little bit. And I had to circle around a little bit more. And um, my coach thought he was fading a little bit. And I don't fade, you know what I mean? There could be 20 rounds out there. You know, on that 20th round, I'm still going to be going hard, or as hard as I can go. You know what I mean? So they knew they told me to pick up that pace in that second round and go to work, and that's what I've done. Your coach has played a big role in the part tonight, then. You seem very family orientated with, with you and your team. How important are they, and how much have they contributed to this victory? It's all love. You know what I mean? We're, we've got love between us. That's how, that's, how you, that's how you grow, and that's how you get better. You know what I mean? You can't come into the gym, egos, you know what I mean? Like, who's the biggest man in the gym, all that type of rubbish. The guy who's just started to the guy who's the best in our gym. We all pick each other up, we all help each other, we all share ideas, and that's love in our team. That's how we do it. We look out for each other. In a pre-fight interview, you, you said that it was going to be controlled aggression, and come in, hands up, come in, swing, and I just want to know where the head kicks were. I can't tell you everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't tell you all the tricks, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, I, I gave an up away on the blog, you know what I mean? I, w I wanted to just sneak them out there, you know what I mean? But I'm just I'm having fun, you know what I mean? I'm trying different things. Uh, did I try the spinning back kick? Did I not? Oh, I did. I did. Yeah, no, no, no. I tried it. I tried it, but he got my back. Did it? And he slammed me. Damn it. That's what happens when you try something. You end up getting slammed. But you know, what I mean, I've got the confidence to try it. Whatever it is, I'll try it. The other thing is, you don't just bring a confidence and a talent in the cage. You're about as engaging a guy to stand in front of and, and answer quite. How important is this part of the game for you, especially going forward? You know, dealing with the media, doing the interviews. Well. The way I've looked at it, I've looked at it, I've been watching a lot of fights in the UFC and other, other promotions. You want to make money, you got to make people remember, you know what I mean? Something that I heard, uh, I heard someone say before, like, you want to be the guy they remember in the morning, you know what I mean? There's, uh, there, what is there, 15 fights tonight? You know what I mean? I want to be the one that when they wake up in the morning, who's the first name in their head is Ed Arthur, that's what I want, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to bring everything, I want them to, you know what I mean? If the guy that sits, there's tw 10 guys in a room, the guy that don't say nothing, you don't remember his name. You know what I mean, the one that says something and gets people engaged, that's the one you remember in the morning. That's how I'm thinking about it, you know what I mean? I want, and that's just me, I'm being myself, you know what I mean? Like, I talk enough rubbish most of the time anyway, you know what I mean? So I just let it come out. Bama 13, Bama 21, sorry, June 13th, you're a champion. You want to appear on that card and Absolutely. shout it out now? What's that, the end of June? Middle. Yeah, the middle. I, I, to be honest, I don't really know. I'm going to go back to the gym, I'm going to have a week's rest. You know what I mean? I've, I, I wanted to fight in February, I wanted to fight in March, I got told off for the title, so I had to wait till April. So in my mind, I've been training since Christmas. I was, I was before Christmas, but we, we were in, like, okay, let's get serious from, from Christmas. So I've just been training hard since then, you know what I mean, and just having fun and learning. So, and for me, it ain't the sort of thing, I don't just go to the gym, train, and then go home and then play Xbox and forget about it, you know what I mean? Like, I go home and it's ticking, you know what I mean? It's ticking all day long, it's all day long, you know what I mean? So I need to... I need that to shut off sometimes. I need that switch to just, to, to, to just, just chill out, you know what I mean? So that's what I want to do. I want to go home. I want to chill out with my girlfriend. I want to just chill out with my mates and just be normal. Well, try to be anyway. <laughs> You've talked to uh, Mike Wooten before. It didn't seem like he, he took that too seriously. Do you think he's going to take that more seriously now? I hope so. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's, it, it ain't about something against Mike Wooten or I wanted him. I wanted, I just looked at the phantom mates who were signed for Bama. Boom, who's at the top? Boom, that's the one I want. That's what, 
what, me and Wotton? Yeah, I think so. I think I think I just I think I, I think I would have a good fight against anyone. You know what I mean? If you put a guy in there who just stood there in front of me, I would still find a way to make it an interesting fight. I think it's one of the things I got. You're very engaging, of course, both in and out of the uh, in and out of the cage. Sorry. Do you think you, you can be the face of Bama and a face of MMA in the UK? Hundred percent. That's what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I ain't just trying to be some guy that gets rolled over and gets forgotten about. I want to make money. I want to I want to change everyone's lives around me. It ain't just a bit of fight for me. It's not just something I put down and forget about. This is what I want to do. You know what I mean? This is where I'm gonna I'm gonna go all the way with this game. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make loads of money. I'm gonna help everyone around me. And yeah, I want to be the face of it. I'm, I'm well up for that. If, if Wooten's not a, a guy who's not, say, interested in fighting you at the minute still, a guy who came through here, here earlier, Regis Sugden, did say he wanted to fight you. He yep. said he was looking at this fight as, as, a, as, as his next fight, basically, almost. Do you think he's ready for that? Do you think he's worthy of, a, of that fight next? I think the way UK MMA is going at the moment, there's guys who have had one fight and guys who have had ten fights, and they're all about the same level. Everyone's getting good, you know what I mean? So, to be honest... I'm not too interested in fighting him just because he's not ranked above right. me. You know what I mean? Right. If he was ranked above me, that's who I'd want to fight. You know what I mean? I'm just looking for the guys ranked above me. That's it. But you know what I mean? If, if they, they sign it up and he, he, get, he, he gets more wins, then yeah, cool. I'm up for it. How did you match up with Regis? Regis, I didn't watch the fight. I saw, I saw the finish just as I was warming up. Um, he's a great fighter. Seems like a great guy, a great fighter. I'm up for fighting. <coughs> like I said. I don't want to go backwards, you know what I mean? I'm not fighting Alan Philpott, who was ranked 13th, to then go fight a guy that only had three fights. I'm looking for guys who are in the top 10. That's all I want. Thanks, Ed. Congratulations again. Thank you very much.